Let's move on to main topic number two. Chris, what is our second main topic today? This is from Mario Lozano. Greetings to the whole team. The other day you mentioned the possible contenders for the Oscar in the visual effects category, and you mentioned The Lion King. That movie, I have my reservations because there was only one real shot. Would it qualify as an animated film? If so, it's not effects. Would be more animation, so it would not deserve to be considered with the other movies. Greetings and tell me your thoughts. So basically what we're asking here is, can The Lion King be nominated for an animation spot? Well, it's not and an can we do a, a, as a visual spot. effects yeah. spot. Yeah, should it be considered? And it's funny because we mentioned the other day that, uh, like Robert and I both said, that we feel that Lion King is probably the front runner. And there's a lot of people in the industry who are feeling the Lion King is probably the front runner for best visual effects. Now, whether you know you love a movie or don't like love a movie, it's, it's irrelevant. We're talking about whether the visual effects are great. Like, remember everybody, Suicide Squad won an Academy Award. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for the quality of the movie, it was for, for the quality of that. I think it was, it was either hair and makeup or, uh, it was either hair and makeup or costuming. I can't remember which one, but it, it was great on that level. And that's what we're talking about here. But I've had a lot of people writing in and saying, well, wait a minute, it's an animated film. Shouldn't it be disqualified for best visual effects if it is an animated film? Well, th there's a couple things you got to keep in mind here. Number one, there are still visual effects in animated films. And you can make the argument, like if you're going to say animation shouldn't be taken into consideration, well, then, you know, Avengers Infinity War or Endgame shouldn't be nominated because a lot of the visual effects in that is just animation. Animation that's overlaid on top of some live action footage. And sometimes a lot of the frames we're looking at in movies like Endgame and Infinity War are all animated and all visual effects. But what you're seeing is still there. You gotta understand this, a team of artists came together and put together imagery that convinced us we were looking through the lens of a camera at a real world. There are still people who think when they saw Lion King, it was real animals that they just, an they, they did a pulled a babe in the city. Mm -hmm. They think it was just real animals that they just animated the mouth. No, no, no. The whole thing. Well, well, the skies, you know, that, that sky was fake. Well, the, the, the dirt they're walking on, that, that's just real. No, 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 no. That's all animated. Well, what about the water? That was real water. They just dropped. No, no, no. Anime. It is an animated film, but it is nonetheless a bunch of artists taking imagery and convincing the audience that what they were looking at was actually real and immersing them in the movie. And on that level, it absolutely counts. And by the way, animated films do qualify and are eligible to be nominated for best visual effects. As a matter of fact, it has happened not once, once, but twice. It has happened twice in Oscar history. The most recent time that happens with Kubo and the Two Strings, and then I believe it was The Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it was The Nightmare Before Christmas before that. But anyway, it, two, no, two animated films have been nominated for best, um, for best visual effects before. They are eligible and they should be eligible because a visual effect is a visual effect. Whether what's layered behind the effect is a real camera shot or other frames of animation, it doesn't really matter. And what they pulled off in Lion King, whether you love the movie like I do, or hate the movie like some people didn't like it at all, and that's fine. You cannot deny that what they did was, look, even just four years ago, four years ago, we couldn't have possibly imagined a movie that looked like this. We couldn't have even imagined it. Like, let alone 10 years ago, 15 years ago, this movie is a triumph for visual effects. In as much as that, while I don't like the Star Wars prequels and the Phantom Menace, that movie was a triumph for moving visual effects ahead. And I believe Lion King is, is that as well. So number one, should it be considered? Absolutely, but more importantly, does it e even qualify? Is it eligible since it is an animated film? Actually, according to the rules, yes, because it's happened two other times in history. Aaron, when we're looking, and I know you love the movie, but setting aside our love for the movie, as you look at something like this, regardless of what the rules say, if a film is entirely done with visual effects, I mean, that's one way you can look at it. It's it's not just a movie with some visual effects. It's it is all visual, visual effects. effects. Mm -hmm. but, but should a movie like this, if it's considered animated, 
Is there an argument to be made here that maybe it shouldn't qualify for visual effects or or do you think the rules have it right and they should qualify? I don't un I don't even understand why this is a question mm. because the way that I look at best animation is the same way that I look at best picture and best foreign film. So you have this category um Sorry, I, I should take best picture out because that is all encompassing. But I look at it like I look at it as if it's best foreign film. It is a category, a genre of film that is very specific. And then within that, it's also eligible for other awards. You would never say, oh, well, that's eligible for best uh, uh, foreign film. So it definitely shouldn't be eligible for best sound mixing, too. That doesn't make any sense. If it has the best sound mixing, you would nominate it for the best sound mixing. And so with The Lion King, it fits into the into the category of an animated film because it is. Visual it's, effects, you mean? No, oh, okay. animation. It is an animated film using CGI. Right. I watched this whole uh, uh, film last night. Film. <laughs> YouTube video. Um, I watched a whole YouTube video last night on the history of animation and how we went from 2D, which is the traditional uh, Disney films, Snow White, Cinderella, blah, 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 into the 3D where you have Pixar and whatever, and then also into the CGI and how CGI not only can be used in animation, but also in live action films, but it doesn't mean that it's not an animated film. So it's clearly an animated film. We know that that's not up for debate, but it's also utilizing visual effects. There's no reason why it can't be counted as both. I, I don't really understand the question, I guess. Like, why is this a question? Just because it's animated using special effects that it can't be nominated for special effects? I, I, can you explain this to me, John? Am I missing something? Well, I mean, I think what well, the way some people are looking at it is, is the notion that as an animated film, animation shouldn't be considered a visual effect. But what I think they're missing here is that much of the visual effects today is just a little bit of animation layered over some live action, but it's animation nonetheless. We were talking about like most of the visual effects in Infinity War and Endgame are just animation techniques. Mm -hmm. they, they just do animation. Yeah, Lion King just does a hell of a lot more of it. So I don't think doing more of it should disqualify you and something that does less of it should qualify. Right, like I wouldn't say that Avengers Endgame could be nominated for best animation right, just because no. there's animation in it, but I think that, you know, exactly. given that the majority of the Lion King, that the the entirety of the Lion King minus that one shot is animation, um, but they're using uh, CGI to do it, I, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that I think not only is it nominated for animation and for special effects, but I wouldn't be surprised if it won in both categories as well. I got a feeling it won't win for best... Uh, I, I'm not even positive it'll be nominated for best animated film. Really? When you look at the response... I mean, I, I would nominate it. I loved it. I loved it. But I, I know there's a lot of people that didn't, so I don't know if it'll get nominated. But visual they effects... They have no soul, John. <laughs> I know, but I do think... If you're a member of the effects, Academy and you do not nominate and vote for The Lion King, you have no soul. You have no soul. Anyway, guys, the question is, what about you? Do you think that despite the fact that the rules do allow it and there is precedent for it and it has happened historically in the Academy Awards, do you feel that if a movie is entirely done in CGI, that it should be disqualified for visual effects? I don't think there's an argument to be made for that, but maybe you see it differently. Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.